Thank you, Candice. Uh, so yeah, I, hi, I'm Andy Moore, I'm a Senior Marketing Manager with Risk Five International in place of the advertised speaker today. Thank you for coming along to our webinar. I'm gonna to speak to you about delivering the future of automotive innovation with Risk Five. We overcome challenges through collaboration. Collaboration enables us to progress the state of the art, invent new technologies, tackle new problems. Open standards and collaboration are strategic to computing, to both hardware and software across industries and geographies. Today, I'll be speaking about RISC V, the Open Standard Instruction Set Architecture, or ISA, that is the very definition of open, of open computing. You will have heard about RISC V over the last few years. It has been growing quickly, capturing hearts, minds, and investment across a range of industries. We are at a critical point in compute history. Open standard hardware is taking hold, as we've seen um, before with open source software. Risk v is inevitable. With over 10 billion cores shipped worldwide and shared investment from across our ecosystem, we are already seeing great success. Risk v enables the best processors by design. Our modular approach, well-rounded architecture and collaborative community ushers in new possibilities across all industries and applications, giving freedom of design and freedom of opportunity. And talking of collaboration, we're working quickly to build the strongest ecosystem, driven by the collective interest of all of our members. Open standards are driving choice and reducing vendor lock-in. Thousands of engineers are working on Risk v every day, breeding innovation and competition. As the automotive industry is embracing computing and the power of software as never before to transform its products and services, it's a great time for you to be hearing about Risk v and our amazing ecosystem and how it can transform your digital roadmap, giving you new opportunities to innovate and new ways to work together with the rest of the automotive industry. Our vehicles are at an inflection point, undergoing a period of rapid evolution. The capabilities of modern computing are being applied across the car to enable new features and user experiences. We're seeing the development of increased levels of self-driving capability along the road to fully autonomous vehicles. The rapid rise of electric powertrain driven by environmental concerns and government timelines is driving a complete reinvention of powertrain systems. New levels of connectivity are enabling deployment of features um, and software updates, as well as new rich in-car infotainment experiences and shared services, redefining how people interact with their vehicles and how automotive companies deploy and sell vehicles. The life of a car post-manufacturer is interesting in ways it never was before. Just as we couldn't foresee the amazing wave of innovation ahead of us when the smartphone was invented, we can't yet see the full potential of this future generation of vehicles, but it's a market with huge opportunity. The amount of software in the car is growing massively. Companies are becoming software makers, their products software defined and increasingly valued on the functionality supplied by the software. This drives the computing running the software to get a lot more complex. The previous model of individual functions being delivered through individual ECUs cannot scale. The automotive supply chain is consolidating um, into fewer, more powerful zonal and domain controllers towards even more centralized vehicle compute with high performance requirements and dedicated processing for specific workloads like AI. This new software defined era of automotive presents car makers with a new set of problems. Firstly, how can it cost effectively deliver this massive increase in complexity of in vehicle compute at the varied performance levels required for different applications? And how can they deliver this in vehicle compute while meeting the strict levels of safety and security that automotive demands? These new requirements for in-vehicle computing, software and services shakes up and rearranges the existing automotive supply chain, along with the long-held relationships and ways of working together. Car OEMs, tier ones, tier twos, um, and the rest of the value chain are looking again at what technologies they need to develop themselves and what services and products they can offer. Business models are changing in the supply chain with a focus to a more extended relationship with the end user. Also companies are looking to find new ways to differentiate and that means they have a greater need to innovate. In the past, auto companies designed their products based on existing chips in the market. Now these companies are specifying features and automotive silicon based on software that they are planning. Risk v is the instruction set ISA that the industry needs to make sense of and succeed in this new automotive era. It is the common architecture that enables the supply chain to work effectively together while giving companies the freedom to differentiate and the opportunity to innovate while supported by the capable and diverse risk v ecosystem, which accelerates development while reducing risk with technologies and capabilities across both hardware and software. The risk v open standard instruction set architecture uh, scales across the whole vehicle 
delivering the compute required for every in vehicle application from simple low power sensors and actuators to new compute intensive systems like zonal controllers, domain controllers, and high performance centralized vehicle compute. Risk v delivers scalable performance, highly customizable and tunable at the core level for each individual application and its requirements in terms of size, power, performance, and key automotive carebouts of safety and security. For example, for very simple sensors where the size of the core is key, you can customize the ISA to keep only the instructions and capabilities you need. For more powerful and specialized applications, such as the AI required for increasing levels of autonomous driving, custom instructions and extensions can be added to give high, highly optimized and high performance silicon, which is efficient in terms of silicon area and power efficiency. Put simply, RISC-V delivers the right type of compute in the right place. The use of a single architecture simplifies development and reduces cost, scalable across the whole vehicle, and the reuse of expertise and tools across a range of different applications. The use of a single ISA also enables software components to be easily deployed across a manufacturer's range of multiple vehicle models and specification levels, whose different price points necessitate a range of compute specifications. And this is not just theory. RISC-V has already been selected for use in automotive applications such as advanced driver assistance systems. As I mentioned at the start of the talk, we overcome challenges through collaboration. The open nature of the RISC-V standard allows companies to work together to create new technologies required for the future of automotive, enable stakeholders in the automotive supply chain to solve problems while talking the same language, working efficiently together rather than creating fragmented solutions. RISC-V is an extendable standard, enabling the development of custom, highly specialized automotive-specific extensions to the ISA, enabling features and innovations that other instruction set architectures could not facilitate. This extensibility enables optimized solutions to key industry concerns in highly automotive-specific SOCs. An open and extendable standard means a common language, along with opportunities for innovation and differentiation. There's also the opportunity to con contribute extensions to the standard via the working groups. Becoming a member of RISC-V enables access to the relevant steering groups, including the Automotive SIG and the Functional Safety SIG, giving the opportunity to influence automotive-related extensions for ratification, driving the standards to address future requirements of the automotive industry, and the opportunity to collaborate and network with the RISC-V automotive ecosystem. There is a seat at the table for anyone. Ideas can be floated, developed, and adopted into the RISC-V standard. RISC-V is not just about the ISA. The risk flight ecosystem is the source of the technologies and expertise that can help e enable any automotive compute development. This hugely capable collection of member companies and organizations is working to cover the requirements for the future of automotive compute across safety certified processor cores, IP tools, verification, software components, and development tools. The diverse range of silicon requirements across the car means that the range of different chips are needed with differing processing power and feature requirements. Also, individual members of the automotive supply chain will have different needs for sourcing compute power for the applications. Wherever you are on the spectrum, from sourcing pre-designed automotive MCUs to specifying complete custom automotive SOCs, the RISC-V ecosystem can deliver. Our members are experts in a range of hardware technologies from processors and IP, uh, design tools and verification. An open standard ISA lends itself to rapid innovation in software. We have a rapidly expanding innovative software ecosystem with RISC-V members already delivering FUSA certified compilers and software, component, software development tools and components ready for use in automotive applications along with rich operating systems and virtual platforms. RISC-V benefits from a many eyes model of development in terms of safety and security from across the ecosystem and um, giving more uh, expertise and opinions to contribute to increased safety and security. As the importance of compute power in automotive increases, so does the importance of being able to control your technology roadmap and supply chain. RISC-V has already grown tremendously in global adoption and influence as the open standard for, for compute. RISC-V is an open standard and has incorporated meaningful contributions from all over the world. As a global standard, RISC-V is not controlled by any single company or country. Development of RISC-V specifications is based on contributions that have been made available in on, on a non-proprietary basis or cultivated in the open from RISC-V members evenly distributed in North America, Europe, and Asia. RISC-V has ushered in tremendous potential for companies from all over the world to participate in the rapidly growing semiconductor space. 
As discussed in the previous slide, the RISC-V ecosystem has extensive capabilities across both hardware and software, but it also understands the specific requirements of automotive industry in terms of long-term support. The wide breadth of products offered by the RISC-V ecosystem enables easier multi-sourcing for future developments, reducing risk in your automotive supply chain and preventing lock-in from individual vendors. You'll find different options all based on the industry standard RISC-V ISA. As I've already touched on, the use of RISC-V enables you to create more differentiated and compelling products. The flexibility of the ISA across all performance points, along with the ability to customize and extend, enables a degree of innovation not previously possible. Your automotive SOCs can be uniquely customized to suit your exact processing requirements and customized to deliver on new ideas and concepts for vehicle compute architecture that you may have. Wherever you are in your compute journey, the RISC-V ecosystem is here to help. The use of RISC-V puts companies in, in control of their technology roadmap, enabling them to create more innovative and differentiated and compelling automotive compute solutions based on an open standard that can be counted on for longevity and support. The RISC-V Automotive Special Interest Group is tasked with representing the interests of the automotive industry within RISC-V International. This encompasses understanding the needs of the industry, working to improve the RISC-V ISA and developing the supporting ecosystem to ensure that RISC-V provides the best possible solution across all automotive applications. The group is well supported with partition, participation from over 20 organizations from many different geographical regions, representing a wide cross section of the industry, including hardware, software, and tools. This focus on the automotive sector is enhanced by working groups from other uh, with other groups across risk five, and in particular, the dedicated special interest group for functional safety, which I'll talk about more in a moment. Membership of risk five enables you to attend these meetings and connect with the other members of the automotive SIG. As just mentioned, in addition to the automotive SIG, risk five has a functional safety special interest group. Functional safety, defined as the absence of unreasonable risk due to hazards caused by malfunctioning behavior, is a crucial aspect of automotive development. Therefore, these two groups work very closely together. Of course, automotive systems are not only about safety and not all safety related systems are automotive. So the groups align to cover automotive safety topics together and other topics separately. The safety stig spans automotive, aerospace, medical, railways and other domains where functional safety is important. Its goals are to identify the needs of these applications and lead activities to improve the risk five ISA and ecosystem support to fulfill these needs comprehensively. The SIG has participation from a wide range of companies, including OEMs, silicon manufacturers, software and CAD vendors, IP providers, and research labs. The RISC-V software ecosystem or RISE project is a new collaborative effort in collaboration with RISC-V International hosted by the Linux Foundation that brings together the global industry leaders committed to accelerating the availability of software for high performance and power efficient RISC-V cores running at high operating systems, high level operating systems for a wide variety of market segments. You can see here the substantial support from some of the industry stakeholders committed to accelerating the software ecosystem for RISC-V. No, this is only the Platinum board members and founders. More recently, Canonical and Microchip have joined RISE as general members, along with a couple of others. The RISE community will be primarily focused on software for apps processors, including compilers and tool chains, language runtimes such as Java, system libraries, Linux and Android, virtualization, as well as profile and debugging tools. Let's talk specifically about hardware. To recap, RISC-V is the foundation of your processing roadmap, an ISA and ecosystem that supports you through every stage of your silicon journey. You can select an MCU from an ecosystem vendor or build your own silicon based on processor cores available from our ecosystem of member organizations, or even your own design based on the RISC-V ISA itself. The RISC-V ecosystem is here to support you wherever you are in this journey. Let's have a look at some of our options available from some of our members. Our members offer a range of automotive processors. Andy's technology offer FUSA cores for ECU applications, storage, touch, sensors, and mission critical parts. Codasip are experts in customization of their processors for automotive applications. Cortis offers a complete range of automotive, a complete automotive ASIL B slash D MCU range, including ADAS and HPC based on Cortis LPs. Imagination Technologies offers an automotive roadmap based on the nasal D certified process. Nuclear System Technology have their NA, NA900 certified compliant 
with ASLD requirements of ISO 26262 standards for both systematic fault and random hardware faults. MIPS have compute solutions delivering performance, safety, and reliability for ASL compliant FUSA systems. Sci5 have a range of certified and general cores for the full range of automotive applications. And Ventana offers server class IP chiplets for ADAS, AID, autonomous driving, and IVI compute with FUSA, ASL, B, D, and cybersecurity certification. In terms of verification, Imperis offer fast simulation models and verification IP for risk v CPUs. Synopsys enables scalable SOCs, SOC verification, early software bring up and system validation. And Siemens can help with automated exhaustive verification of risk v customization. We'll be hearing more detail about some of these technologies in a few slides time. As mentioned previously, the value of software is paramount for the future of vehicle development. RISC-V and its member companies are developing software tools and support for automotive applications. Our members offer the safety tool chains and IDEs to enable software development for ISO 26262 systems. In terms of OS and hypervisors, there is support in place or under development. Our members already offer safety RTOS solutions on RISC-V. Automotive Grade Linux is currently up and running on a Sci-5 unmatched board and emulated in QEMU, along with other RISC-V silicon targeted in the future. Android is a key software component of the automotive software stack. In December 22, last RISC-V summit, Google announced that RISC-V will be a first-class citizen in Android. This will enable Android application, the Android application ecosystem to embrace RISC-V en masse. Google is leading Android development on RISC-V with RISC-V vendors actively supporting them. Android on RISC-V currently, is currently running on a range of platforms, uh, various QEMU models based on Google Cuttlefish, FPGAs and the High Five Unmatched Board and, and other platforms. We can run first party and third party Java apps, develop debug apps seamlessly using Android Studio, um, debug native code over ADB using the LLDB integration in AOSP, and our, uh, also the Google and major OEM, ODM stakeholders continue to work um, through the interim milestones required to reach the objective of full RISC-V support. AutoZar is a critical component of automotive software, both classic AutoZar on MCU and adaptive AutoZar for application processors. There are ongoing discussions between multiple members of the uh, ecosystem uh, and uh, of the Sorry, there are ongoing discussions between members of our ecosystem and multiple vendors about support for AutoZar on RISC-V. We understand the importance of AutoZar support and are working to make this happen. Virtual platforms and digital twins are vital tools to enable more complex and feature-rich electronic systems, allowing you to shift left in your automotive development before silicon availability. Our amazing software ecosystem has enabled this with offerings from several companies already available. As you can see, there is already great support in place, but we encourage those of you interested in RISC-V development, development to talk to your software partners about their individual plans. These are some of the amazing companies and organizations enabling software development for automotive on RISC-V. The ecosystem that you're used to working with is already working with RISC-V and solutions are available today. Whether you're worried about debug, compilers, both open source and commercial, through to operating systems and simulation tools, the ecosystem is for RISC-V is ready and waiting. Now, I'd like to introduce some slides from some of our member companies, giving you an overview of their RISC-V offerings in automotive. Excuse me, I see we've got a problem with the audio. Um, let's try and fix this, sorry. Um,
Right, this technology is a publicly listed 18-year-old pure play CPU IP provider that's focused on providing leading RISPR IP in 2022. And this has released the world's first ISO 26262 SOB fully compliant RISPR core and 25 FSE. It has been adopted in over 10 different customer projects across five different applications, including display and touch, MCU, DVR camera, in cabin radar, and CMOS sensors. And this is working with a wide range of software partners to provide a complete solution to the customers. In addition, Andes has rolled out a comprehensive full side roadmap with varying computing power from three stage all the way to 13 stage cores and full side level support ranging from SLB to SLD. It can satisfy all the automotive chip development requirements from mainstream ECU to mission critical to low power and security to high performance parts. For more details, please visit the Andes Automotive Segment website. Last year, we had a joint announcement with Mobileye about their plan to use the MIPS P8700 RISC V CPU core in their high-end ADA system. Those systems will be used in the Mobileye Chauffeur and Mobileye Drive to enable Level 3 and Level 4 autonomous driving in part of the road, like uh, part of the highway and part of the city. Uh, those system deployment will start in 2025, uh, starting with the Zika car and more announcements uh, to be followed, most likely on CES this year. Lastly, come to hear us and meet us in the Risk V Summit to learn more about the safety principles that have been used to enable such a, uh, to enable to drive safety for such a complex system. Thank you. IAR are very proud to present our functional safety solutions for ISO 26262. These solutions cover both traditional architectures and Risk V. And we are very pleased to do announcements recently with Andes, with Sci5 and Iliatech to deliver functional solutions uh, for their platforms. IAR have certified solutions covering embedded workbench and the IAR build tools, giving developers flexibility in how they wish to utilize the tools. We have simplified validation from Tuv Sud and internally through our own safety guides. We offer our partners long-term support through special agreements, through regular communication of any known problems for automotive and through validated service packs. Hello, I'm Robert Redfield from Green Hill Software, describing our safe and secure RISC-V software foundations for automotive. Since 1982, Green Hill Software has been a global leader in safety, security, and developer productivity for embedded systems. We've supported RISC-V since 2018. We're experts in critical systems for all industries, but today we're talking about automotive in particular where our products have been used in hundreds of millions of vehicles since 1993, in applications from deeply embedded MCUs to large and complex MPUs. Our RISC-V support is the most comprehensive in the industry, with ACIL certified real-time operating systems and virtualization for both MCUs and MPUs, ACIL certified development tools, for heterogeneous multi-core SOCs and expert services, including device lifecycle management. With our leading RISC-V processor partners, the combined solution offers compelling platforms for next generation automotive designs. Sci5 offers the broadest RISC-V portfolio of general purpose and safety focused compute processors from the tiniest MCUs up to the highest performance application processors available in the RISC-V ecosystem today. We break down our family product families in distinct categories and it, but it should be noted that processor cores from each of these families are being and will continue to be designed into a range of future production vehicle use cases. 
Starting with the essential series shown in the lower left, these are highly efficient, highly customizable processors, typically for microcontrollers, IoT devices, real-time control, etc. Next in the upper left hand corner are the intelligence series optimized for AI and machine learning acceleration. In the upper right, we have the performance series with industry leading vector processing, hypervisor extensions, and world guard security support for high performance and mixed criticality applications. And then finally, in the lower right hand corner, the automotive specific processors offering a range of configurations, uh, split lock and redundancy and other features for ACL B and ACL D certification. Visit us at sci5.com for more information on all of these amazing offerings for our automotive applications. Ventana announced Veyron V1 at last year's RISC V Summit. Don't miss our next generation product updates at this year's summit on November 7th. Competitive with the latest x86 and ARM processors, this is server class IP featuring high core count CPU clusters, a large low latency iCache, a large physically sliced L3 cluster cache, comprehensive RAS with air scrubbers, ground up microarchitecture resilient to side channel attacks, and a seamless inter integration within an AMBA CHI coherent system. Ventana also offers compute chiplets prov providing the same seamless CHI integration over ultra-low latency D2D connections. This enables chiplet solutions to approximate monolithic SOCs, but at a much lower complexity, cost, and time to market. Ventana also provides the necessary RISC-V system IP components, namely a high-performance IOMMU. This complete IP chiplet portfolio is now being enabled for automotive compute solutions with FUSA and cybersecurity certifications and automotive-grade products. Together with partners, Ventana chiplet architecture enables scalable RISC-V accelerated solutions for cloud to automotive applications. Since Ventana server class technology is being fully leveraged for automotive, software can be developed on cloud infrastructure and then deployed to similar virtualized automotive platforms supporting mixed criticality. Thank you, and we look forward to hearing from you. Today we'll show the benefit of customization on a DQ0 transformation function used on the automotive industry, specifically in motor control. Our baseline is the CODASIP L31 RIS5 three-stage 32-bit core. We have incorporated a CORDIC module to compute sine and cosine in fixed-point 24-bit representation, enhancing the precision of the calculated ID and IQ values. Additionally, a unique custom instruction was developed for the Clark Park Accelerator to execute two simultaneous floating point arithmetic operation and culminated a remarkable 17 times improvement on both processing time and power. In conclusion, the custom instruction for the DQ0 transformation function, bolstered by the Cordic module and the Clark Park Accelerator, exemplifies a customization use case approach to support precision in vehicle motor control operations, thus resulted to faster processing time and reduce power while containing the silicon cost. Imperis provides high quality, fast simulation models for software development and RISC-V processor verification. We have a base model which matches all of the RISC-V specification and it's very configurable with over 250 parameters that can choose which extensions are in use and which versions of extensions. We have a well-documented and well-defined API that allows user extension for custom instructions and custom CSRs. When it's used in a DV environment, our solution checks the RTL design state on every instruction retire against the golden reference model, and that includes the ability to check asynchronous events such as debug and interrupts. This provides a very powerful way to verify your CPU for all of the architectural state. When our models are used in a virtual platform, we have verification, analysis and profiling tools, and the simulator scales from multi-core to many-core, including support for heterogeneous simulation. Hello everyone, Cortius, a French fabulous semiconductor manufacturer with four R&D centers in Europe, designs RIST 5 SOC solution from simple MCU to very high-end SOCs. Thanks to our own extensive IP portfolio, 
which includes processors 32 and 64-bit RIS-5 ESA, digital, analog, mixed signal, RF and securities ISPs, we bring to clients optimization, time to market and overall saving cost. ULIS MCU range based on RIS-5 and dedicated for the automotive market is based on four customized platforms. ADAS, networking, chassis and safety, energy management and body control. Today it is 15 billion chips produced with Cortis inside. It is 1.2 billion each year. Cortis can collaborate on any automotive MCU project and bring the highest level of safety and security such as Azil B, Azil D and Autosar. Simply contact me for more information. Olivier.demoli at Cortis.com. Thank you. It's amazing to see how extensively our ecosystem can support automotive development. If you'd like to explore some other technologies that are available on RISC-V, take a look at the RISC-V interactive landscape. The landscape shows the rich ecosystem of technologies available today across all computing applications, not just automotive, to enable development on RISC-V, including applications, libraries, infrastructure components, operating systems, hypervisors, design tools, services, and implementations. This is part of our efforts to build out the strongest ecosystem to support the development of RISC-V. And now that you've seen the breadth of technologies and expertise in the RISC-V automotive ecosystem, maybe you might consider joining. RISC-V has more than 3,820 members across 70 countries. You can see these companies that cover a range of technologies and industries, from chips, and service, chips to services to software, cloud to mobile to automotive. Joining RISC-V offers many benefits. You can accelerate technical traction and insight for your products through immersing your teams with industry thought leaders in our ecosystem. As I mentioned previously, membership enables you to contribute technical priorities, approaches and code uh, to infuse and influence the RISC-V open deliverables. It also enables you to gain strategic and technical advantage with early insight and access to technical deliver deliverables in motion. Our marketing team helps you increase visibility, leadership and market insight as RISC-V amplifies member progress across the industry. The membership of RISC-V allows you to retain, attract, fill and increase engineering skills. RISC-V engineers are incredibly passionate and engaged in RISC-V, which is a win for their companies. You can build your innovation partner network, supply chain and customer pipeline as an active member within the RISC-V community and showcase RISC-V products, services, training and resources on the RISC-V exchange. And you can deepen, engage and lead in local and industry developer networks with your engineers who engage through meetups, advocacy and the RISC-V ambassador program. Visit our website, risk5.org, for more information on membership or contact me directly at andy at risk5.org. So to summarize, I hope you can see that Risk 5 and its ecosystem of member companies can address your automotive computing needs. The Risk 5 ISA scales across the whole vehicle from simple low power sensors and actuators to new compute intensive systems like zonal controllers, domain controllers, and high performance centralized vehicle compute. RISC-V delivers scalable performance, highly customizable and tunable at the core level for each individual application. RISC-V is an extendable standard. The open nature of the RISC-V standard allows companies to work together to create new, new technologies required for the future of automotive. Talking the same language, working efficiently together rather than creating fragmented solutions. It enables the development of custom, highly specialized automotive specific extensions to the ISA enabling features and innovations that other instruction set architectures could not facilitate. The RISC-V ecosystem is the source of technologies and expertise that can support and enable any automotive compute development, helping solve the problems caused by changing supply chains. This hugely capable collection of companies and organizations covers all the technologies required for future of automotive compute across safety, certified processor cores, IP tools, and verification to software components and developer tools. No matter what your automotive compute requirements, from sourcing SOCs to developing your own custom silicon, the RISC-V ecosystem has the technologies that can deliver your future automotive roadmap. If you'd like to find out even more about RISC-V and the, um, our, what we're doing in automotive, our summit is just around the corner. Taking place in Santa Clara, California from the 7th to the 8th of November, RISC-V Summit is the best place to discover the latest on RISC-V from around the ecosystem across mobile, data center, AI, IoT, and of course, automotive. 
we have an exhibition hall where you can talk to 40 sponsors of the event and find out how they can help with your automotive roadmap. Our schedule of talks includes automotive sessions, talking about uh, automotive processor cores, more on virtual platforms from Imperas, and the application of RISC-V extensions to zonal controllers in ISO 26262. Andy's will be giving a demo of their functional safety solutions, and there will be posters from Low Risk and Ventana on automotive cores. Risk Five Summit is an amazing event where the whole ecosystem comes together. We hope to see you there. Okay, so I think it's now time for a Q and A. Thank you very much for listening to our webinar. I'll now be joined by some of my colleagues from across the ecosystem who can answer any questions you might have. So with me, I have. Olivia Demoli from Cortis, Laura Sartori from Codasip, Marisol Ventura from Codasip, Jeff McGuire from Ventana, Bob Monkman from Sci5, John Taylor from the Paras, Itai Yaron from MIPS, and Robert Redfield from Greenhill Software. If anybody has any questions, we'd be very happy to hear from you now. So meantime, while we're waiting, perhaps just pick a couple that came up in the um, Q&A box. So there's one I see Jeff's reply to online, but it might be of interest to others, uh, as I don't know whether it's public, um, asking about the intersection of security with the auto and safety SIGs. So Jeff, do you want to expand on how the working groups fit together? Uh, sure. So um, the security horizontal group is working on security specifications and they have direct application to automotive. Um, and it's an important aspect of automotive platforms that they get certified you know, for cybersecurity risks. And so um, we're working towards a more direct interaction between the automotive SIG and the, uh, the security working groups that are happening in RISC-V to ensure that uh, we're covering all the automotive uh, requirements. Thanks, Jeff. Um, so another one's come in asking about virtual risk five platforms um and I, i'm happy to take that on with a with a vested interest so um there are various simulators out there that have virtual platforms available for risk five already today um Imperis have solutions through the ovp world website um there are open source solutions from quemu from spike um, and other projects as well um, these cover a mix of just standard um, risk five extensions so you know the, the standard isa plus base extensions um, there are also custom models available from imperis of many of the semiconductor partner products if you're looking for something more specific Do we have anything else? Uh, yeah, so so there's another one come in, which I'll sort of throw throws open to the panel. Um, what are the current trends of development of hardware accelerators using RISC-V architecture? Um, so, and, and similar one, um, asking about developer boards availability. I know that's a popular question. I would say for uh accelerator for risk five this is in demand <laughs> engineer in demand and this is one of the trends that we see risk five being very strong uh offering not just cpu compute but also cpu vector gpu compute and things like that i see we've got anybody likes comment on availability of developer boards I know there's a plan to have a developer zone at the summit to show off some of what's available. I think so Andy, we do, yes. you can say that in, uh, in the Risk Five Summit, there will be, I think, around 200 boards. Oh, so we're not quite that. Um, we, we have around 40 boards in the, the Risk Five Summit boards, developer okay. zone. So, um, so, yeah, come along to, to, um, to find out more about those. We're, we're going to have boards for, for a range of applications. Um, and also, there is on the, the web, 
the Risk Life Summit website very soon, there will be a list of these boards with links where you can find uh, where you can find more information about each of them. So, uh, so yeah, have a look there. Uh, and also, I think um, Bob, you know, we were mentioning during the webinar that some Sci Five um, boards are being used for things like. Um, uh, you know, for development of things like Android and, and maybe a few other things like uh, automotive grade Linux, right? That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. We're one of the reference platforms uh, being introduced into those communities to verify Android and verify Android and verify um, uh, automotive grade Linux uh, is coming from Sci Fi. Yeah. Great, thank you. Um, I see we've got another one. Um, uh, John, um, are you going to answer this? When could we see Autosar support available, 24 or 25? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd encourage you to talk to your software vendors about that. I mean, I know there's there's a lot of interest in the, the industry about this. Um, again, it kind of ties in with virtual platforms and dev boards availability. Um, yeah, 24, 25 is probably the, the sort of time zone. But if, if you're interested, you know, make sure your vendors know you're interested to, to create the pull through. I would, I can add to it that there are two types of Autosar. There's the native Autosar that running on the CPU directly, and there's the adaptive Autosar that running on POSIX kind of uh, operating system like Linux. The adaptive Autosar is already uh, running. Uh, the native one, I think there is one or two vendors that in progress and the third one probably will follow. So I would expect the announcement coming the next year. Thanks, Itai. So I think um, we have a question here. Um, how often is the RISC-V ISA updated? Um, if uh, what we can do is there, if you have a look on our website, uh, there are, is information about, um, uh, we have a, a blog about platforms and profiles. Um, so these platforms and, and profiles are what Risk Five use to um, to uh, maintain compat compatibility and allow people to be working on the same version of the architecture. So that is that's that's how we uh, how we do that. Yeah, I'll just add to that. Um, in terms of the profiles, they get updated on a yearly basis, and um, we see like the Risk Five um, application profile. RVA23 is being pretty key for enabling software defined vehicles. Um, you know, in terms of having a software platform to target um, a, a group of extensions and features that are specified in that profile. So we and we have another question. What would be the roadmap um, if one wants to be in this field? Um, I'm not sure quite. I'm just, I mean, the individual members of the call could maybe comment on their roadmaps. Um, uh, we, we've seen the videos earlier on, but do you have any other points maybe about, about future roadmaps? I would say something generic. So you can go for each company and see the roadmap. I think we have very aggressive roadmap, both in IP, software, and, and SOC. But in generic, we, the difference of the Risk Five ecosystem is that the, the pace of developing of software adoption, the pace of, or the type of variety of solution uh, enable uh, the customer to, to really find the type of solution they are looking both from CPU, ISP, GPU, and, and many types of, of component that needed for the car. And as the ecosystem, it's, it's developing and adjusting much faster than a single company can, can address this. I mean, I would also say there's IP products available um, and there's already deployed solutions, right? But um, there's a, a good variety of IP available um, to where you can move forward with designs today. And, um, you know, I would I would see that there would be a big transition to risk five happening, you know, kind of in the in 20, um, 2026, 27 timeframe. I'm sorry that, uh, yeah. Okay, great. Um, another question for real-time operating systems based on Risk Five. How is performance against dedicated how how is performance against dedicated hardware like a safety PLC? 
think there's several uh, uh, way to address the real time. You can look on Mobileye like doing it uh, using real time libraries on top of Linux, uh, which is one way look at using multi threading to run things in parallel and, and make sure that uh, there are any time. Other company like Valence, for example, using a real time CPU to uh, address this kind of uh, predictability. And there's and there are many other solutions that uh, we can talk about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's it's kind of, it's a bit of a how long is a piece of string question. There's so many different risk five solutions out there at different performance points that um, you know th there will be some very hard real time products available. Equally, there's the very high performance parts available, so it's it's hard to make a um, a direct comparison at, in a sort of conversation like this. Okay, another question, how important is it to reduce the power um, in terms of watts per CPU in automotive applications and what does RISC-V do to address this? I would say that it's always important. I, I Today I see actually the challenge of the automotive market is about software size and software complexity, which uh, uh, the profile of RISC-V address. And I think each part of each company that present you, I, I represent me, but each company here uh, provides unique solution to different powers or, or performance uh, uh, targets. So uh, uh, whatever you need, like about something very small to something like big AI or server machine on the, on the wheels, uh, I think you can find a solution in the risk five ecosystem. I think power efficiency is always super important and it applies across different segments that we're addressing Ventana at the very high end. Um, it's it's critical in servers and in, in that you can put as much compute within a certain, whatever your power limit is. And, and automotive would have a different you know, power limit, but the, the same principle applies that the more power efficient you are, the more compute you can deliver within, within a constraint. Great, thank you. I think we just we have one last question about what you know in terms of challenges for risk five and automotive. Um, what are I mean a lot of these challenges it's just it's opportunity right? There's a huge opportunity for risk five and automotive. Does anybody have any comments uh, on that? Uh, for, from a purely uh, Pete's going to answer. Maybe I can give an answer. Um. I, I think one of the challenge is right now, all chips are based on ARM and all the ecosystem, software ecosystem is designed based on ARM. So most of the car maker are all scared about what is the overall cost to switch from ARM to RIS-5. We are all saying to them, it's not a big deal, uh, depend on, on the, the language, C language. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's just a matter of, understanding the application, then we can help every uh, chip vendor provide SDK and full solution, debuggers, compilers, and so on. So it's not so difficult to switch, but it's a point that scares most of the car makers how to switch from one to another. I'd, I'd certainly agree with that. There's a, you know more of a perception of risk than the, than, than the actual risk. Um, but I think also the, the big challenge is time. Automotive um, development does not happen quickly. Um, you, you know, there, there's much longer product life cycles than there are in other industries. Um, so that, you know, investment needs to be there. Um, it's being developed, um, but, but it's not going to happen next month or the month after. And from a software side, uh, we're seeing uh, increased uptake and uh, you know our development tools real time operating systems are are ready and are in early adoption right thank you i think there's a there's a it's maybe a side question this is like a safety one around railway applications but we can we can take this any risk by products in the pipeline for railway applications, SIL2, SIL4. I don't know if anybody here who has safety I, I can, related. I can take products. this. 
Okay. But I would say that in general, when we look, we, we historically we do certification start with automotive, then do industrial. We also did medical, and 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 what we today the, the most most challenging uh, is to is the automotive. The restriction, the the process is is the most sticker. Uh, but we have option. We we also have chips that we did we did for for SpaceX that uh, are, are have the the uh, space. Uh, restriction and I think other company risk five also did something similar so I, I think it's a, a a level of process to take the automotive to address it to other uh, uh, areas we work with Resil Tech uh, and I think there are a few other companies like TUV and so forth that have the experience to to do this uh, transition or this certification Any other questions? I think we don't have anything else. If anybody wants to shoot a quick question over, we can answer it. Okay, well, I don't see any other uh, questions. So um, I might just bring this to, to a close now. Thank you for uh, to my panelists here for all their expertise and for answering all the questions. Thank you to everybody attending for your time. And um, this webinar will be going up on the Linux Foundation um, webinar website. And um, if anybody wants to follow up on anything that you've you, you know that you've heard about today, please contact me personally, uh, Andy Moore, and my contact is Andy at risk5.org. Um, so I just hand back to Candice. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time today, and thank you to our audience for joining us. As a reminder, this recording will be on the Linux Foundation's YouTube page later today. We hope you join us for future webinars and have a wonderful day. Thank you.